Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on adding the report viewer component in a Blazor server application. In this video, we'll see how to create a Blazor reporting web application to display SSRS RDL reports. Before getting started with Bold Report Viewer for Web, make sure your development environment includes Visual Studio 2019 with the ASP.NET and Web Development Workload .NET Core 3.1 Framework Let's create a Blazor server application. Open Visual Studio 2019 and click Create New Project. Now, choose Blazor App and then click Next. If this template is not available, refer to the link in the video description to configure the system environment. Change the project name and then click Create. Select Blazor Server App and click Create. Now let's install the NuGet packages. In the Solution Explorer tab, right-click the project and choose Manage NuGet Packages. In the Browse tab, search for the boldreports.net.core package and install it in your Blazor server application. Similarly, install the remaining packages system.data.sql client and Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.MVC.NewtonSoftJSON. I have mentioned the purpose of each package in the following table. The boldreports.net.core package creates a web API service to process the reports. System.data.sql client is an optional package. It should be installed when the RDL report contains a SQL Server or SQL Azure data source. The Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.MVC.NewtonSoft JSON package includes input and output formatters for JSON and JSON patch. The following table provides details about the dependency packages and their uses. The SyncFusion.Compression.Net.Core package is a base library for the PDF, DocIO, and XLSIO packages. The SyncFusion.PDF.Net.Core package is used for exporting RDL or RDLC reports in PDF format. The SyncFusion.DocIO.Net.Core package is used for exporting RDL or RDLC reports in Word format. The SyncFusion.XLSIO.Net.Core package is used for exporting RDL or RDLC reports in Excel format. The SyncFusion.OfficeChart.Net.Core package is a base library for the XLSIO package. The NewtonSoft.JSON package is used to serialize and deserialize data for Report Viewer. The dependent packages will be installed automatically on installing the boldreports.net.core package. Let's configure the web API. The Blazor Report Viewer requires a web API service to process the RDL, RDLC and SSRS report files. Right-click the Data folder and select Add. New item from the context menu. In the Add New Item dialog, select API Controller class and name it ReportViewerController.cs. In the Report Viewer Controller file, add the following using statements. Let's inherit the Airport Controller interface. And then implement the following methods. The airport controller interface has a declaration of action methods that are defined in the Web API controller for processing RDL, RDLC, and SSRS reports, and for handling resource requests from the report viewer control. The airport controller has the action method declarations. The get resource method is used to get the resource from the report. The on init report options method is invoked when the report is about to be processed. Here, I have loaded the sales order detail.rdl report from the resources under www root folder. The on report loaded method is invoked when the report and subreport start loading. The post report action method is used to post the request in the report process. The report helper class contains helper methods that help to process a post or get request from the report viewer control and return the response to it. The get resource method is used to return the report resource to the requested key. The process report method is used to process the report request and returns the result. Now let's add routing information. 
Routing is the process of directing an HTTP request to a controller. The functionality of this processing is implemented in system.web.routing. Add the action parameter in the route template. In the startup.cs file include the map controllers and endpoint routing, which invokes web API with the controller in action. Bold Reports processes the data between client and server using NewtoneSoft.json. To enable the NewtoneSoft.json features in Blazor application, include services.addcontrollers.addNewtoneSoftJSON in the configure services method. Then change the class name to report viewer controller in the add singleton service. Let's initialize the report viewer. In this section, we are going to integrate bold reports JavaScript controls by creating an interop file to initialize the report viewer with basic parameters. In the data folder, add the class file and name it as bold report viewer options.cs. Enter the following code to hold the RDL report rendering properties. Create a folder named scripts in the www root folder. Then add the JavaScript file and name it as bold reports interop.js. Add the following code snippet to invoke the bold report viewer JavaScript control. Now let's add an already created report. Create a folder named resources in the www root folder in your application. This is where we will keep the RDL reports. For this video, I'm going to add the sales order detail.rdl file to the resources folder. You can get the sales order detail.rdl file from the video description. I have also included a link to more samples and demos in the video description. Let's reference scripts and a theme. You can also use local scripts and theme. I have included an FAQ link about them in the video description. Open the pages, underscore host.cshtml page and reference the online CDN links along with the bold reports interop.js interop file in the head section to use our JavaScript reporting controls in the Blazor application. The purpose of each script and CSS file is explained in the following table. Bold.reports.all.min.css includes the CSS properties for the JavaScript reporting component. The jQuery 1.10.2 script is used to render the SyncFusion JavaScript reporting widgets. EJ2Base.min.js, EJ2Data.min.js, EJ2PDFExport.min.js, and EJ2SVGBase.min.js are used to render the gauge item. EJ2LinearGauge.min.js renders the linear gauge report item. EJ2CircularGauge.min.js renders the circular gauge report item. EJ2Maps.min.js is used to render the map report item. EJ.Chart.min.js renders the chart report item. Bold.Reports.Common.min.js, Bold.Reports.Widgets.min.js, and bold.reportviewer.min.js are mandatory to render the bold reports report viewer. Open the index.razor file and replace the following code. Inject IJS runtime. The render report viewer method is used to render the bold report viewer component in the Blazor page. The on after render method is used for initial rendering of bold report viewer. Then invoke the JavaScript interop with the sales order detail report and the created report viewer controller URL to visualize the report using our viewer. Let's register the valid license token. Open the startup.cs file and enter the code snippet to register the license token and configure method. License tokens can be generated from the download section of the Bold Reports site. I've provided the user guide documentation link in the video description. Select Embedded Reporting and click Generate Token. Copy the token. 
In the startup.cs file, register the license token. To preview the report, build and run the application. You can see the sales order detail report is loaded in the bold report viewer. In this video, we learned how to integrate the bold report viewer component in a Blazor server application. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.